If you are at all interested in Tesla, you've probably already heard of FSD, full self-driving, or maybe even Dojo, Tesla's very own supercomputer that they will use to train their robo-taxi fleet. But in this video, I want to discuss the potential that these have to completely revolutionize the transportation industry as we know it today, and what all this could mean for Tesla stock investors in the future. Autopilot is an advanced driver assistance system that assists your car with steering, accelerating and braking. It helps your car with the most burdensome parts of driving, alongside having features like emergency braking, collision warning and blind spot monitoring. With Tesla's enhanced autopilot, you also get features like auto lane changing and auto parking. Then you have their full self-driving capabilities. This is not yet fully developed, but people can use it in the beta version right now to test. With this, you get access to more advanced driver assistance to take your autonomy in the car to the next level. You get things such as traffic light and stop sign control, which basically means your vehicle will automatically start slowing down and stop when it sees a traffic light or a stop sign. Tesla has been working on reaching FSD for a while now, a few years, and whilst it's seemingly taken forever, it's quite important that they do take their time and actually get this right. I wouldn't really want to think about the implications if they were to rush this and there were safety concerns. Also, this is AI. The neural net needs time to learn, to drive just like a human or even better than a human can. It's been defined that there are five stages to reach an FSD. I'll pop them on the screen now, but I believe Tesla right now is currently sitting at the third level. The vehicle can take control of all driving tasks under certain conditions, such as on highways, or in stop-go traffic. However, the driver still must be ready and alert to take control if there is a situation that the car, the autonomy, cannot handle. Unfortunately, I don't actually own a Tesla, so I haven't been able to experience this for myself. If you have first-hand experience and you believe Tesla is at a different stage in their FSD journey right now, then please drop a comment below and let us all know. But I have seen some videos suggesting that Tesla's FSD is actually currently at a level four, where the vehicle can take control of all driving tasks in most conditions. However, the driver must still be there and alert in case of an emergency. Right now, it's under a beta stage testing, meaning it's still under development and not yet fully autonomous. So Tesla has not yet solved FSD, but they are making great progress. And during this time, they are using FSD beta to basically collect data in order to train the networks to make FSD better. Timelines for when this is gonna be fully developed is quite difficult to say, as are a lot of things with Tesla, but we did have this tweet that suggested this could be coming later this year or maybe early next year. As a long-term investor of Tesla, where I plan to own, accumulate, and hold this stock for a long, long time, I don't really mind if FSD is fully solved and developed later this year, early next year, 2025. It doesn't really bother me too much. For me, it's just a matter of when, not if. And I believe Tesla is really going to be leading this one compared to their competitors. We will discuss this a little bit later on in the video, but I do believe this will be very positive for the Tesla stock price. So actually I'm kind of okay with being given more time to accumulate shares. And there also are gonna be a lot of challenges in terms of regulations. Now, something to appreciate about the regulations surrounding FSD is that they are going to differ depending on where you're looking. So for example, Tesla could roll out FSD in North America that could go seemingly well, and then they could try and roll it out in Europe, and there are just so many different regulations that they need to adhere to that it could be quite difficult. I do think that this could be the one thing that actually moves the timelines back for Tesla on FSD. It could really be the bottleneck here. There is also, of course, some public uncertainty about the safety of autonomous vehicles, which could make it quite difficult for Tesla to deploy FSD on scale. Right now, if you were to purchase a new Tesla, you will have the option to either add on enhanced autopilot or FSD. This will be the beta version that they're currently testing, but you will get continuous over the air software updates as FSD itself continues to improve. And you can do this as one lump sum payment, like I said, when you purchase the car. But I believe there are actually subscription models also available, but from what I can tell, these are only available currently in the US. So once FSD is fully up and running, and like I said, I believe this is just a matter of time. Tesla might not decide to just add this to their own vehicles, 
but they may also decide to start licensing out the software. And Elon Musk actually said during the Q2 earnings that Tesla were in discussions with major OEMs about them using Tesla's FSD software. And he also tweeted this, which just backs this up further, that they are planning to license this out if possible. I might make a whole entire separate video about how FSD licensing could be really, really big for Tesla. But essentially, there are a few key reasons as to why this will be beneficial for them. Firstly, it will open up new revenue streams. And this could, of course, offset and pay for some of the costs of developing and deploying FSD. And it will just add more profits for them. And secondly, it could speed up the development of autonomous driving technology. By licensing their FSD to other major OEMs, they are basically sharing their expertise, which would help the entire industry industry towards being able to have their own FSD vehicles and moving forward the autonomous vehicle push. And also it could make Tesla a leader in the autonomous driving market. They are already a leader in this area, but by licensing their FSD to other OEMs, they could solidify their position as the leader in this market and help capture a larger market share for Tesla. Right, so now I think we need to talk about how Tesla have a massive advantage to solve FSD before any other company. The big advantage is their data advantage. Tesla has a significant data advantage for FSD. And this is really key in understanding just how competitive they are. There are a lot of Teslas out there on the road driving around and a portion of these will have FSD. This was above 400,000 in March, 2023. And these vehicles are constantly collecting data about the environment around them. This data is then used to train Tesla's FSD software. Tesla's customer owned fleet actually drives more than 120 million miles per day and over 1 million miles per day in FSD. So you can see how much data is actually being collected on a daily basis. And these figures were from April. So it's probably even more now. It's kind of funny actually too, because usually companies would have to either have some incentives or pay their employees or the public to test their software, not get their customers to pay them for the privilege. Their data advantage is twofold. Firstly, it allows Tesla to train their FSD software on a wide variety of different driving conditions. This is important because the software itself needs to be able to handle whatever's thrown at it, whether someone is driving on a highway, a country road, in a city center, it needs to be able to adapt to the situation. Secondly, it allows the company to train their FSD on more recent data. This is important because the environment around us is constantly changing. And just like with the previous one, the FSD software needs to be able to adapt. The software is constantly being updated with new data, which allows it to improve its performance over time. Other companies that are trying to develop autonomous driving technology like Uber or Waymo just don't have the same level of data that Tesla do. This means that Tesla, of course, have a significant head start in solving FSD. Also, Tesla's data library should help them prove statistically the safety of their software, which of course then will give them an advantage over their peers when it comes to the regulatory approval process. So Tesla has a lot of vehicles out there collecting an intense amount of telemetry data, which is the data gathered from the vehicle's radar, sensors, and cameras to monitor the performance over time. This data is used to train their FSD software. The more data, the better it gets at driving autonomously. And also safety features are improved. For example, if there is a faulty sensor or a bug in the software, these can be identified easily and resolved. Like we just said, there are going to be, and there already are, other competitors trying to get to FSD before Tesla, but that's gonna be really difficult to do given how much data Tesla has access to. And this allows them to move through the process of collecting the data, which of course is constantly coming in and constantly evolving, labeling the data, evaluating the data, cleaning the data, and then training the neural network. So other companies may be a little bit slower at this process. Another advantage, aside from the data advantage that Tesla have, is Dojo. Dojo is a custom designed supercomputer that Tesla is developing to train its FSD neural networks. It's designed to be way faster and way more powerful than any other supercomputer already available, which will allow Tesla to train its FSD FSD neural networks faster on a larger and more complex data set of real world driving 
data. This will of course lead to significant improvements in the accuracy and performance of Tesla's FSD software. The important thing to reach FSD is having enough compute power to deal with the massive data loads that are needed to train the FSD neural networks. This is where Dojo gives them the edge. Elon Musk said that Dojo is actually already online and already performing useful tasks. It's growing fast and eventually it could be one of the top five supercomputers in the world. So far, we have been speaking about individual Teslas having FSD, but now we must speak about the RoboTaxi fleet. For those of you who are completely unaware of what the RoboTaxi fleet is, it's basically this idea that Elon Musk has had for quite a while now, where he basically wants to build a fleet of completely autonomous vehicles that will drive themselves and drive humans around. So a fleet of fully autonomous Tesla vehicles. When this will be available, who knows really, I guess it will firstly depend on when FSD gets fully developed. And then the regulations will come into play, any safety concerns, and just public acceptance may take some time as well, because I know a lot of people actually love driving. Personally, I don't enjoy driving, so I am all up for being driven around but a lot of people do like it, so there may not be quick acceptance of this. As far as I understand, Tesla are not necessarily planning to manufacture vehicles for this fleet specifically straight away, but instead they are planning to have customer-owned Teslas being used, the ones with the FSD software on them, of course. There is a lot of time where people's cars are just not in use. They're either parked at your home or they're parked at work. So actually owning a car is pretty expensive. You have to buy the car, you have to insure the car, you have to keep up with maintenance on the car, but most of the time they're not even in use. So the idea is that whilst you're not using it, you rent it out to Tesla so they can use that vehicle in their robo taxi fleet. So this will earn money for the owner of the Tesla vehicle and Tesla, the company themselves. Number one, the Tesla owner would be able to make money by doing this, which is pretty cool. And number two, Tesla will then have an ongoing way to make money post the sale of the vehicle. Tesla's robo taxi fleet has the potential to revolutionize the transportation industry. It will completely change the way it is now, if everything goes to plan, of course. These vehicles could provide a more efficient way of getting around. They will be available 24 seven. And it will be way more affordable, right? Because there will be no human labor costs. You won't have to pay someone to drive you around. And they could also help traffic congestion and pollution because of course they will be electric vehicles. And lastly, they may be way safer because there will be no human error involved. It will purely be an autonomous vehicle using sensors and cameras to drive you around. I have shared this in a previous video, but ARK Invest have the price target of $2,000 per share by 2027 for Tesla stock, which is one of the highest around actually. And it's about a 690% increase from today's stock price. This would mean that if I owned 10 shares of Tesla stock at today's price of $253 per share, it would cost me $2,530, but would be worth $20,000 by 2027. Not accounting for inflation or fees or any, anything like that, of course. Anyway, the robo taxi fleet underpins their model. They predict that it will actually be responsible for 67% of Tesla's enterprise value, which if happened, would mean that the robo taxi fleet would be worth more than four trillion dollars and would mean that it would be the single most valuable piece of technology on the planet. I will link the ARK Invest's article in the description below if you want to do a bit of a deep dive into the calculations and read more about this yourself. From my research, I imagine the way that this will work is that Tesla will take a cut of each journey taken. So the customer will pay a fee per mile, which would be cheaper than other competitors out there because they're not actually having to pay for a driver. Remember, this is an autonomous vehicle. And then Tesla will give out some of that money that the customer has paid to the owner of the Tesla and then they will keep a cut themselves. This will be pretty much 100% profit for Tesla. The margins on this will be insanely high. And even if they only take 25 to 30% maybe of the total amount and give the rest to the owner of the Tesla, this will still be a lot of additional profit for Tesla. It will mean they are bringing in so much money. They might even end up manufacturing vehicles purely for the robo taxi fleet in the future, which would mean that they then wouldn't have to give a cut to any Tesla owner, which would mean they would keep 100% of the, uh, the total profit, which would be insane. And this answers the question as to how it would benefit Tesla 
to move towards a robo taxi fleet where there will be less cars on the road and there will be less EV sales. And it's because they can make Teslas for their fleet instead of selling them, which means they don't have to think about profit margins. They can just produce the car for the manufacturing cost. And then they will get the money from the taxi service, which could be absolutely massive if it's able to completely disrupt the industry as we know it today. And it helps them with their overall mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. I hope this shows you just how crazy a robo taxi fleet and FSD could be for Tesla and therefore Tesla stock. Right now, Tesla have four major catalysts that come to the top of my head. Number one, EV sales. Demand for electric vehicles is going up and Tesla are going to benefit here. Number two, their energy storage sector spoken about this in other videos. I will link one of them up here, but this could be really, really big, especially in my mind with the mega packs. And the next one is the robo taxi fleet that we've been speaking about in this very video. And kind of separate to that is FSD, but especially FSD in, the ter in terms of SaaS, software as a service and licensing this out, it all could be very, very big. And the last one is the humanoid robot. Optimus. Again, I've made videos on this in the past and I will link one of them up here. Thank you so much for watching this video and share it with anyone who is interested in Tesla or invests into Tesla stock. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day wherever you are.